In the previous video, I briefly mentioned the power formula as power equals voltage times current, where power is measured power is measured in watts. And I'm just going to do an example or two and hopefully um, explain the variations you'll see of the power formula. Let's say I had a circuit with a voltage source of 5 volts and a resistance of 2 ohms. Um, using Ohm's law, we can get the current from this by going current equals V on R. If you're not sick of Ohm's law yet, you will be after about 100, 100 homework tries. I'm sure you're studious enough to do homework. But anyway, current is voltage on R equals 5 over 2, 5 volts on 2 ohms, equals 2.5. So the power contained within this circuit is going to be power equals VI equals 5 volts times 5 on 2 equals 5 times 2.5. Uh, I think that's 12.5, let me just double check, and yes, that's equal to 12.5 watts. Um, you'll notice we had to use Ohm's law to get the current here. Uh, it's There's usually going to be more than one way to get the power. Um, so this was Ohm's law. We can sub Ohm's law into the power formula two different ways. Power equals VI via Ohm's law, we can tell that voltage equals current times resistance, or that current equals um, yeah, brain freeze, voltage on resistance. We can sub either one of those into the power equation, and we get two fairly basic variations, power equals I squared R by subbing this one in. Um, power equals IR times I equals I squared R. And by subbing this one in, we can get power equals voltage squared on R, or P equals V times V on R equals V squared on R. So this is just a really basic um, overview of, or, or really an expanded explanation of the power formula. Uh, it's rather basic, but uh, yeah, hopefully you understand it. Thanks for watching and see you again.